Hi guys, today's book is Curious George and the Pizza. Let's go out for pizza tonight, George, said his friend. At the pizza place, Tony the baker was getting the pizza ready for baking. He flattened the ball of dough into a large pancake and tossed it into the air. He spread tomato sauce on it, sprinkled it with cheese, and shoved it into the oven. Then the telephone rang. A fellow from the factory wants a large pizza delivered in a hurry, Tony's wife called. Okay, I'll get them my coat, said Tony. George was curious. Could he make a pizza too? He jumped on the counter and took some dough. George pounded the dough into pancakes. Then he tossed them into the air with all four hands. One of them plopped right in the middle of the table where a woman was sitting. Another landed on the coat rack. One fell on the jukebox. And one landed smack on Tony's head. Who did this? shouted Tony. George was scared. He ran out and jumped into a small truck to hide. The customer is still waiting for his pizza, said Tony's wife. You better hurry. They'll be closing the factory in a few minutes. Oh, no, I forgot all about it, said Tony. Quickly, he packed the pizza into the back of the truck and drove off. George was trapped inside. The truck sped up to the factory, but it was too late. The gates were locked. Oh, no, Tony groaned. How will I ever deliver the pizza? He opened the back door of the truck, and there was George. So that's where you've been hiding, you bad little monkey, Tony cried. He reached out to grab George, but then he stopped. I've got an idea, Tony said. You're just a what I need. How good was it that George was a monkey? Look at that, shouted the factory guard. A monkey delivering a pizza. Thanks, George, said Tony. You made up for all your trouble you caused. I'm going to make a special pizza for you and your friend when we get back. And that's just what he did. Hope you enjoyed the book. Look forward to reading again. Have a great day.